Hi, it's Lacey Curls with an update. I did wash my hair this morning and two strand twisted <laughs> my hair. I'm laughing at my daughter over here. Um, I used my Shea Butter Mix that I mixed myself and um, with just some Shea Butter, a few tablespoons of um, olive oil and some aloe vera gel. Now I also used a little bit of protein gel, but that protein gel that I bought, they didn't have the kind that I normally use and it doesn't work as well as the one I usually use. But this is what I got. Two strand twist. My my twist curl naturally. Um You know, the funny thing is when I went to the beauty salon, everybody loved my curls when I went in there. Uh, one girl came to me, um, she did my eyebrows for me. A separate girl did my eyebrows and did my hair. The girl who did my hair is, is um, she has dreadlocks, beautiful long dreadlocks. And that's what, and she's my, I always go to her, so that's why, um, because she knows how to do natural hair. Um, there was another girl in there that had natural hair also. She had her hair type looked like it was about a um, 3B. Uh, beautiful hair, she had beautiful hair. And she actually asked me, she said she loved my curls when I came in and she asked me what I used in it and I told her that I mixed my own shea butter. Um, then I asked her what she put in her hair. She uses Carol's Daughter products, which I've never tried before. Um, her hair was really cute. Nice, cute little style. Looked like a bob. Curly bob. Um, so, it, you know, it's funny. I go in there to get my hair flat ironed out, and people are asking me about my natural hair. But I, I, when I went in, I had a twist out. So I had did like pencil size twists the night before and I washed it and then I took them out that morning. So I had like like nice big curls on my hair. I mean I look cute but <laughs> it was time it was time for me to get a trim and a cut because I wanted some layers cut in my hair because I was planning on wearing my hair straight to go see my husband. Um I was going to surprise him with that. So I needed my hair done so when it's in a straight form, it fell into a style. So, but I like what they did. It was nice, but time to come back with the curls. How I like my hair like this. Um, I was thinking, I was talking to my daughter, and she was telling me how all the, like a lot of the stars and the singers, you know, she, she mentioned Mickey Minaj, Minaj, is that, is that how you say it? Minaj. Minaj. <laughs> See, she had to help me out. And Carrie Hilton, is it Hilton? Carrie Hilson. Hilson, excuse me. And I was saying, I was mentioning how a lot of the, the um, stars in the PBC on TV, they all are trying to look, trying to look like um, Barbie dolls. I mean, in their appearance and how they changed themselves and, you know, but I mentioned that everybody calls Mickey Minaj a black Barbie or a Barbie doll. They call her a Barbie doll. To me, I don't see anything Barbie about her other than all the makeup and, the, and stuff. But Barbie is blonde hair, blue eyes and slim with big boobs. Okay, and she's none of those. So no matter how hard you try to be a Barbie, you're not gonna meet <laughs> the cut to be a Barbie because it's not gonna change your skin or your hair. That's not you, it's all pretend. So pretend to be a Barbie if you want, but I'm happy to be me, my African-American self. Um, I like my curly hair and I like everything about myself. This is me, how God made me. And you should be happy about how God made you because God doesn't make any mistakes. Um, 
I guess I just kind of got caught up in talking about that. My daughter was saying I should like my hair better straight. Well, I like my hair better curly because this is me. And is my hair gets longer or if I decide to cut it, if I decide to shave it off or whatever I decide to do. Um, at least I know that, you know, this is mine's. You know, it's mine's. And I love my hair. You know, this is the hair that that guy gave me. And I know that a lot of people are into growing your hair. Um, I want to say about growing hair. My hair, I have been growing. I haven't been growing it that long, and I'm at a good length already. But I don't obsess about growing my hair. I obsess about keeping my hair healthy. And if you keep your hair healthy, and you take the time to do your hair and not chemically process your hair and do things that your hair doesn't like, um, then your hair will grow. It'll grow. So all you new big choppers out there, if you know, you, I know you might want to let your hair grow, just take, take pride and take your time because you won't regret your big chop because if you take the time and just wait, your hair will grow and you'll be happy. And sometimes it's hard to tell your length because of the shrinkage. Because no matter how long my hair gets, it always only looks like it's like an inch long. Especially in the back. Look, look, look at my back, how it hangs. It doesn't hang that long. And it's not even completely dry. So when it's completely dry, it's going to shrink up even more. But it is longer. You know, you see that? So just be patient. Don't give up. Um... Someone was teasing me the other day, told me I look like Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> with my hair like this. But you know what? I don't care what he thinks. I love my hair like this. You know? I love me. And I love my hair however I wear it. And even sometimes I have like a curly fro. I wear it like that. Um, I wear a twist. I wear an afro puff. Um, sometimes. Because my hair, my grade of my hair, it's uh, it's been changing. Sometimes it seems kind of 3B-ish, 3C-ish. But I sometimes, I think it's more 3B-ish, but then sometimes I think it's more 3C-ish. Because my hair, the curls, when I first wash it, if there's nothing in it at all, it's harder to see the curl pattern. But once I start putting the moisture into it, the curls just come out, and they're usually they're pretty, they're pretty pretty. Um, but like most of us, we don't know that we have to moisturize. Some people in the beginning don't realize that they have to moisturize and take the time. But even if you decide to wear wigs and weaves, you still have to take care of your natural hair, and that's important because I know when I had. Um, I had um, individuals in, they call them micros for a while. My hair really didn't like the micros and when I took them out they had broke off. And, um, but I, I wasn't washing my hair like I should. Everyone's different when it comes to washing. Um, I need to wash my hair more often because my scalp is oily. And if I don't, my scalp isn't healthy. So, I don't have to grease my scalp or anything like that. My scalp is naturally oil on its own. Um, but, I believe that most people have a natural oil to their scalp. And dirty hair, I don't believe is good for anyone. Because a healthy, clean scalp, you know, that keeps your scalp from getting that, um, getting clogged you want to clean your scalp with real shampoo at least 
once a week. I know that a lot of people do cold washing. I don't, I never cold wash. Um, but for some people's hair, it might be good. But you can't always cold wash and never shampoo because you have to uh, take the stuff out your hair every once in a while and clean your hair and make sure your hair is clean or that your hair is going to get a build up on it. Um, I, I hope that you like this video. It's just pretty much an update on my hair. Uh, back to curly from straight. No heat damage. Happy about that. Um, hoping that you see my mom go by. <laughs> She's natural too. So is my daughter. Um, I'm just gonna say goodbye at this point because I'm for lost for words. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. And please comment and subscribe. I would like to have some more subscribers. This is my personal blog. This is only a blog to support me through my journey of my hair. So and also overall fitness. And I did go in 2011 15 pounds lighter so that's a good thing because you because I was a lot a little heavier than this and I can see on my face that it's paying off but I have a long way to go have a, have a good 2011 and take care bye